In Albany are debating how they could provide some relief at the pumps as New York drivers continue to feel the burden of higher prices. Alex Love spoke to legislators from our area and filed the following report with how they're approaching these proposals. Assembly members and senators on both sides of the aisle are calling for the suspension of the state gas tax going in the next fiscal year's budget, which begins in April. This comes as AAA calculated the average gas price across New York was $4.46 a gallon last week. There are a lot of contributing factors compounding to put us in this position, and we've got to act smart to make sure that the people at the end of the day actually feel a difference as opposed to just taking action for political reasons. One way to knock prices down would be the passage of Senate Bill 8483, which would suspend the state gas tax through September. This would deduct about 33 cents off each gallon driver's purchase. I want to make sure that if we do suspend the gas tax, that it actually impacts us at the gas pump as consumers. Um, just because you get rid of a tax doesn't necessarily mean that these big oil companies are going to pass those savings down to us. Especially with the situation in Ukraine, we don't know how that's going to play out. I think it would behoove the state to, you know, pull back on the reins, stop spending some money, and let's help our people. It's their money. It's, it's the people's money. Let's give it back to them for a while and make sure we take care of them. Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara has also called to lift the state's gas tax for one year. Neither of these proposals have made it for a vote on the floor, but as debates continue, lawmakers argue long-term solutions need to be discussed as well to lower fuel costs. The bigger and longer fix needs to be looking back in Albany saying, look, it, sometimes just like at our homes, we have to cut our budgets back. Well, we need to cut the budget back in Albany and making sure we leave the money in our pockets back home. We need to look at reducing our reliance on foreign oil by investing in renewable energy sources, which we know is far less expensive and that we can control in the United States of America. If either of these proposals would pass, they currently do not include the local sales tax that's put on fuel costs. Reporting in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. And the deadline to have next fiscal year's budget drawn up is April 1st. Another concern holding back certain lawmakers is how cutting the gas tax could impact highway maintenance budgets.